All right, guys. As you can see, the box has arrived all the way from China. RC Timer's new gimbal. There's the mounting plate. I'll add in a better detail later on. A um, couple of cables need to be soldered on. Two motors. So we'll look at one of them. Check them out. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, pretty good. Let's see what else we've got. A couple of bearings and a shaft. That looks it. A couple of thumb screws. And some more screws. And some standoffs. Oops. Some more washers and some screws. What else do we have? Oh, some more screws. And guess what? Some more screws and the rubber balls for absorbing and down to the nitty gritty. The actual let's have a quick look to see what parts actually. Mm -mm. Pretty good from what I can see here. Yep, looks pretty clean. A few rough edges. But all in all, it's grey in colour. Yeah, you can see that there's a wee tool mark there. And just there. No, right. You can see it. That slag. Where it's been machined. Oh, there it is, it's off. You see on the end of the finger there, so it's easily come off. And it hasn't affected the, the finish on the product at all. So that looks alright. Next piece. Yeah, looks alright. The arms. Pretty well finished. Yeah. Grip screw hole there. Obviously, there's no instructions, so uh, one thing I'm sure is that grub screw will have to be the same as that. The other one that's there, the two of them, I would imagine you would put these together not like that or like that because you'll be unable to get the grub screws. I would imagine the two of them would be to the front of the gimbal just giving you easier access and there's one of the back plates and the other one again the fuel yeah very good not much weight to that at all but as you can see no instructions as per normal but we'll do our best to uh, do a video and uh, show you how it's all put together. Thanks for watching just now. Cheers guys. Bye bye.